Hello there guys. Uh, seeing I've just had my, my service done on the bike and I've had to take the, the sump guard actually off so the service centre could get to the filter. I just thought I'd uh, just show you how easy it is to fit back on the bike. Now this is uh, a sump guard well, from Bark. It's a French company, BAAK. Uh, it didn't really so much as a sump guard because you're probably only looking at maybe two and a half, three mil actual aluminium plate. But it looks nice and it does give you a degree of protection, obviously, because uh, it just keeps all crap and any stones, anything from rupturing your bottom oil cooler pipes or or your oil filter and it does keep a bit of crap off uh, off bottom of the engine so uh, in the next clip guys I'll, uh, I'll be showing you how easy it is to fit okay I'll see you in a little while right then guys here we are laid up floor again I suppose now the only thing you've got to do with these to actually mount this onto chassis at bike is you get little bracket here which just bolts straight through onto engine casing you've got two little allen keys which mounts to the front and then on the actual rails of the engine you just have two little loop brackets which just loop round the actual chassis and then you, you bolt them down all the one bit of advice I can give you here guys is make sure that you get them right way around because you're wanting the actual allen key on the inside of the frame so it mounts up with the mounting bolts so you're looking at sort of that type of position just at bottom end of exhaust just just after bend and you'll find that you're not going to be too far out there uh, but first part of call is we need to get it mounted on the front here then you can make sure it's all straightened up before you start actually tightening these screws down so i'll get my other hand and uh, i'll show you how you go on now obviously this bracket you haven't you haven't, you haven't tightened it up tight you need to have a, a little bit of play in it just so you can make sure that you get it all squared up with the frame and everything like that so it's just a case of matching it up I mean, I've put this little bit of fine meshing just on back. Just what I got from the local hardware store. And uh, I, think it just, I think it just gives it a little, just a little bit of contrast. So if you just do everything finger tight at first, and then you can always, you can always adjust it later, just so you make sure that you get it all squared up with the frame and everything like that. Guys, now once you've actually got your your clamps hooked over your frame, like I say, always make sure that the nut is actually that locating nut is on the inside. Now what you need here is a few extra hands because to get them actually lined up can be a bit of a faff. So just have a, a few trial runs, and once you get them first couple of threads in, you're away. It's just a case of tightening it up until it clamps. I won't tighten it up all the way down because, like I say, you've got you've got to centre it all. Make sure you're happy with it before you tighten all these screws up properly. So, it can be a bit of a faff to get them lined up first time, but once you get it on, and like I say, you've got located with these two screws which I've left loose just so it just gives you that little bit of play so you can adjust uh, exactly where you want in your plate and once you get it centered and you're happy with it just tighten everything up and uh, you're there to where to go and there you go that's the uh, the bark some guard like I say it is more cosmetic than anything else it's not good well it will stop a, a stone but if like some people across the world are going off-road with them and all sorts it's not going to protect it not like the uh, the genuine Enfield one which obviously is a lot thicker a lot thicker metal and is actually a bash plate this is more cosmetic than anything else but I like it just gives it a little bit of fancy 
All right then, guys. I'll leave it at that. It's literally a 10, 15 minute job. You might have five minutes just uh, struggling to get those screws located in the bottom. Uh, I've only done this one side. I'm not going to uh, video up me just doing exactly the same on the other side. So there you go then, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. See you a bit.